Hello everyone, this is Dan Sparse and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris in the 1.1 Clark patch. Uh, we are still exploring the galaxy, just starting to explore the galaxy. Uh, we have found two habitable planets, still no energy resources, which as you can see up here we desperately need. Um, I'm building another power plant on the surface of my home world which I'm hoping will will help generate some energy um, if we save up for a colony ship though I which do either of these worlds have good energy resources okay hold that thought the Erasian Concordat we have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Tresselian II. From what we have translated so far of their language, we have learned that these aliens called themselves the Irasian Concordat. They were an interstellar power that held sway over this region of the galaxy a little over a million years ago. They appear to have been six-limbed mammalians, and there are several references to some sort of plague called the Javorian Pox, which swept across their empire with devastating results, possibly leading to their extinction. Oh, that's a shame. Interesting. Situation log updated. Oh, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so we have this other world here. Also not very many energy resources. So even the... complete. Uh, I'll get to that. So even the planets... So both planets only have like two energy resources that we have discovered. That's going to be a problem for us. All right. We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Sparsidia. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable, life-bearing worlds. Um, a commendable initiative. Situation log updated. All right. Now, I'm a little concerned about the energy situation because if we start um, colonizing anything, System survey complete. Um, well, we're going to end up getting the uh, piracy event, which I think is triggered once you colonize, I think, is it two planets or one? It must be one other planet. And our military is not suited for that. Special project complete. Ah, we found another world, though. Okay, hold on. The space-born life forms, which the Sparsidian head of society research has come to refer as Tayanki, are docile creatures capable of accessing some lower dimension of subspace. They roam from system to system with relative ease, though nearly the same ease as Sparsidian fleets. They graze on gases common to the upper layers of many gas giants. It is highly unlikely, to say the least, that this is their only food source, but intake of other nutrients has yet to be observed. They will rarely, if ever, attack even when provoked. They can safely be ignored. Hunting them would be a net loss anyway. Cool. Alright. So, we found another ocean world. This one's a really tiny one, though. But maybe it'll have energy resources. I'm hoping. Well, these guys are almost moved in. So that's a positive. Anomaly found. Something moves with near purpose down on Ceramore 3A. Okay, research that shit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 39.6. We've been playing for about two years. Maybe a little more, a little less. I don't quite remember what the start date is. But yeah. We really need energy. Energy is a big issue right now. Which is why I switched to developing the solar panel network. And hopefully the Batherian power plant can help too. I'm hoping. Because if we can build a Batherian power plant on our homeworld, that would help increase 
definitely our energy problems. But it all depends if we have any of the, what is it? What's it called? Batharian stone? Yeah. Pre-ascension species found. One species native to Sarmar 3A has, according to the slime ship Jinjum Jan, orbiting the planet, achieved a tentative mastery of the planet. Scientific officer Rima proposes that we should monitor their development closely and maybe even help them along if possible. Something to keep in mind in the future. Alright, so... Oh. So... We have some little weirdos living <laughs> living on this ocean planet here i would like to build a thing to observe them but i don't have the energy credits to do so like can i even upgrade anything right now no like i'm i am stuck right now i think and i'm still saving this one for something more important i don't want to waste this little spot putting just a normal power plant in on there. I want to put a power hub or even a Batharian power plant on this spot. Ah! Plus five energy credits. Very good. All right, well, how about we do this then? Construction ship, come over here. Build an observation post. It has no post... Excuse me? Uh, hmm. No, I didn't mean to have you go there. Fine, go there then. Whatever. Move here. It's fine. So... Oh, they're pre-sentient. I see. So we can still colonoi colonize, colonize Saramore 3A mm -hmm. if we wanted to. Huh. There's an interesting... An interesting thing. Ah, we found energy resources here on Dwithim. So I think if we... If we build a colony ship... I think Chaselian will be the first one to go. Because it's near the energy System resources. Complete. And that's what I need. Oh! But Saramore has energy resources also. Good. We need those. Badly. And I think... Oh. System survey complete. Alright. Survey here. I want to save some of my minerals. So I think what I'll do is... Ugh. Counter and Talon. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Talon system. These strange objects have been flagged as beta aliens until we can learn more about them. We should proceed with caution. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, great. Just great. Another thing to get in the way of my development of <laughs> colony ships. All right. Well, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I guess we might as well then build. Situation log updated. Oh my god! Gamma aliens now? Evading oh. hostile fleet. This is gonna get annoying as fuck. Like no joke. All right. Well, fine. Go there. Go there instead. Who the hell is here? Alien vessels. My goodness. My goodness. Oh dang, this this place has a ton of potentially habitable worlds. Huh. How far are we along with these? Seven months for the Batharian power plant. All right. I can do that. I can manage that.
We might as well build a mineral station in Saramore also. Yeah. How's my food going? We're, we're okay with food so far. So that's good. Um, I think I'm going to clear that one in anticipation of the Betharian power plants. Just in case I can build one. And please let there be Betharian stone somewhere in my empty. system. That'd be really nice. That'd be really nice. Alright. And then go ahead and build a mining station here. Anomaly found. Uh Hygero sent one B is frozen and anonymous to optical scans. Heat signatures indicate some activity just below the surface. All right. Special project complete. Cool. <sighs> Void clouds. An investigation into a peculiar cluster of debris in space dust has yielded surprising results. It is a particulate cloud bristling with a powerful charge of unknown origin that has no business exhibiting simple reflexive actions, yet, let alone movements with purpose. And yet it does. There is something undeniably ominous about the hazy subject of the relayed video feeds. Perhaps there are things in the universe we should not tangle with. Let us watch, but not interfere. Situation log updated. Construction complete. Fine, we'll research. <sighs> Three months remaining. You can do it, guys. Special project complete. Good. Are we back to building colony ships? We are. Crystalline entities. The reports of strange free-floating crystal-like objects observed in certain systems have been investigated. The ship-sized objects and their slightly smaller but equally crystal-like satellites at first appeared inert, but sudden shifts in their orientation relative to our ships and new energy signatures emerging from within the prisms indicate that they should be regarded as hazardous and approached with caution. We can either attempt to engage with potentially dangerous objects directly or establish remote surveillance and observe them from a safe distance. Um... Remote study. Situation log updated. <laughs> Please. Thank you. <clears throat> I'd rather not blow them all up. Frozen waste. Some species thrive in harsh environments, such as the chilly biosphere of Hygerocent 1b. Science officer Rima has taken a special entrance in one of the types of creatures that skitter across the planet's face and is one and is of the belief that they may achieve sentience with just a push in the right direction. Something to keep in mind in the future. So there's another species. What is it? In 1B? Look at these weirdos. Are they missing their arms? Or do they always look like that? Like, is this a glitch? Because I thought they were supposed to have arms, but oh well. <laughs> okay, so that's two, like, two species we have found that are pre-sentient. The Bavi and the Krillian. Yeah, I feel like there's supposed to be an arm here. Special project. Oh complete. boy. The void clouds are, as far as Presidian researchers can tell, among the oldest entities in the universe. They seem to have originated just a scant few billion years after matter as we know it first appeared, the tremendous forces of the young cosmos making something out of nothing. They would have been stars once, but were not. Explaining their apparent animal intelligence is more difficult, but the answer might lie in the abnormally strong electromagnetic fields that keep them together. 
another product of their primordial beginnings. It is not inconceivable that, given enough times, the circulation of its strange stardust and graphitic fields align in a flexible approximation of neural pathways. Moreover, the clouds seem to be receiving impulses from one another, if not outright communicating light years apart. Quantum entanglements is suspected to play a role in this phenomenon. They will not stand in our way. Can these impulses be traced? Um, they will not stand in our way. Research complete. Ooh. Yay. Do we have any of that research? Hold on. Let's pause. The Pythagorean minerals appear to have originated from singular source, but were scattered across the galaxy millennia ago. The minerals are most often encountered as pebble-sized clusters and are highly flammable. New research. All right. We're going to choose... Um, I think now, oh, more minerals or prove spaceport. Let's do the spaceport. Do we have any of the Batharian stone anywhere? Not in our backyard. Great. Just great. So that was a bust, but maybe we'll find some somewhere. Okay. That construction ship is finished. Uh huh. Let's go here. Let's build a. Special project. Uh, the crystalline entity is the name itself a compromise between rival factions of xenobiologists and xenogeologists on Sparsidia are probably alive. An earlier and perhaps more descriptive name for them was silicate animate matter. As they have little in common with biological life. They are solitary beings, each individual crystal sovereign, rarely seen with more than a sentinel and a smaller cohort entity. Aside from the cohort and sentinel clearly being subservient to the sovereign of the group, the subtle nuances of the crystalline entity's socio-hierarchical relationships are lost on us. The entities do not seem to mate, and we have yet to observe any crystals that are recognizably older or younger than others. Contrary to an earlier hypothesis, the shifts in hue between individual crystalline entities seem to be related not to their age, but to their latent internal charge, which can be violently unleashed, and it appears as if through sporadic fluctuations in the ch charge alter the refractive properties of the crystal. Find some practical use for this information. Alright. I think we're gonna build a research station. Well, how is our... How is our... Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Do I want to build a research station? And also, wait, construction ships? No, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's build a research station. <clears throat> if Rasnum ends up having Batharian stone, I'm going to colonize Rasnum. But I don't, it doesn't seem like any of these planets will. Oh shit, this is a huge one. Lots of stuff to potentially clear. Huh. This, I think I'm going to colonize Rasnum. Because this planet's huge. I think it's even bigger than mine. System survey complete. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Okay, we're going to colonize there when we get the chance. Uh, go to Straddle. Why not? I mean, these systems here don't really have enough for me, personally. 16 months remaining, remaining on the colony ship. Evading hostile oh boy. Fight. System survey complete. Ah, and see, it has Batharian stone. We're building in Rasnum. We're colonizing in Rasnum. Go to Borbo. Isn't that called Drogo's father? Fine, go here then. I want to try to take Rasnum before 
uh, we encounter anyone else. Because my concern is that somebody else will just appear and pop up and take Raslan before we can get to it. Which is not not ideal. <clears throat> 14 months. This one's almost built, so that should help with this. The solar panel network's almost finished. So that'll be good to build also. Construction. Anomaly found. Oh. Uh, there is significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural. For more, the master wrist looks almost like writing. All right, research that. Increase construction of that outpost over there. Solar panel network finished. Uh, what should we do? Let's do survey speed. Let's increase the speed of our surveys. And we want to build the solar panel network here. And I think our construction ship will build the mining station in Jocelyn. <clears throat> that sounds about right to me. Because we're still waiting on getting the colony ship. So while we're waiting, you know, we'll develop more minerals so we can get on the get. Alien writing. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Evagamar 3. The massive script covers a large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicli chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Fascinating. <clears throat> so how far along? Four months remaining for the colony ship. Survey completed. Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Sparsidia. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come to the aid of the continued uh, search of strange life forms. Nice. Well, that side research gained. I think that'll. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand how those numbers work. Oh well. Because in my mind, that 280 research should have bumped up this research progress, but I'm guessing that's not how it works. How's our timer going? We have about five minutes left. All right. System survey complete. So Barbo is finished. Let's go to Antares. I'm thinking. Seems like it might be a good place to start looking. Research complete. Cool. New research. All right, what do we want to use? What do we want to do? Energy siphon, what does this do? So, 
energy siphon. I don't understand what it does. I don't, <laughs> I'm too nervous to try it. We're gonna build these things instead. Okay, now that we have what I want, how far along until we can build a colony ship? 185, okay. We just have to wait patiently then. And not build anything else. We're done with building right now. <laughs> We're done. We have to save up our minerals. Construction complete. Good. <clears throat> 150 away from, oop, wrong thing, from being able to build a colony ship. Oh, yeah. Just shy of 150. We are gaining seven, about 18 a month, so... And then we'll be gaining more once this one finishes, so... We'll be gaining about 20 a month once that's built. System survey complete. Uh, okay. How about go to Grummium? That sounds like a fun place. <laughs> We finished our thing, our mining station. We just have to wait. Just wait it out. Ow. Anomaly found. Uh, observing the mass of asteroid M four six six, we have found something. Further inv investigation is warranted. All right, and research it. Alright. I'm ready to build one whenever you want to give me the minerals. Probably going to be waiting a little while longer. I wonder if we'll get it before the end of the video though. My guess is probably not. But I might be surprised. <laughs> yeah. A little less than two minutes. Do you think we can get it? Mining your own business. Deep within a crevice of the giant asteroid M466, we have found something astonishing. There is mining gear attached to the rock. Digging itself into the vast depth of the asteroid, it stands abandoned with no sign of who placed it there. If we can stop the machine, we might be able to learn something about the technology used to build it, but we must hurry before random debris crushes it. Okay. Situation log updated. Oh, I need to send my construction ship there? Alright. Go, quickly! How much time? 352 days. I think we can make that. I mean, my ship isn't that fast, but it's not like super far away. And thankfully, once it's there, it'll put us in close proximity to Rasnum. <clears throat> Anomaly found. Uh, there seems to be an ancient precursor of this asteroid. All right, research that, please. <clears throat> All right, we might actually make it. We might. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. No. We're just, we are just gonna miss it. I'm looking at my timer right now. We are just gonna miss it. 
Oh well. Two, one. Alright, so there's my timer, folks. Until next time, this has been Dan Sparse. Like, comment, subscribe, leave me any questions if you want to know anything. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Steam. Links are down below, as is a link to my Patreon page if you want to help donate to me to help uh, support me in making more videos and better videos in the future. I know the Patreon page is a little sparse <laughs> uh, at the moment, but I am working on a few interesting ideas that I hope to be up uh, for the tiers soon. So yeah, uh, until next time, folks. Bye.